Hey, what's up everybody? Freddy C here, and welcome back to Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. Now, we have already taken care of the Santa Blanca influence machine, and we finally completed a bunch of ops in Montepunku province. Though this side mission over here would have taken us all the way out here to Media Luna, which is part of the Santa Blanca security operations as a bonus. So the next province we're going to do first is San Mateo, launching from here, Itaqua Echo, from Itaqua province. Also, keep in mind, guys, I was going to do a Call of Duty gameplay, but unfortunately I had to re-download, like, um, I had to re-download the multiplayer uh, pack again just to play, like, a five-part gameplay of Invasion to conclude my 400 Call of Duty games online. But unfortunately, because I had to re-download it, I couldn't, you know, play it. So, just for today, and maybe tomorrow, I'm going to do more Ghost Recon gameplay videos for you guys. So, without further delay, I'll pilot. Let's go to San Mateo. And let's finish destabilizing Santa Blanca security. Welcome, one and all, to San Mateo. Formerly a rural province, now a prisoner camp. Ooh, oh, prisoner camp. That can't be good. I almost came in range with a SAM site. Now, hold on. There's got to be... What's that place? Nope. Over there. Rally point around here. Oh, wait, I see one. Right there, right where the beacon was. San Mateo Bravo. Let's land and see what we got for the province. Shall we? Bowman, this is Nomad. What have you got on San Mateo? San Mateo. Over the past few years, a lot of people have been disappearing from that province. Politicians, rebel sympathizers, Anyone who's making life hard for the cartel. Anybody who ain't the cartel, period. We're talking hundreds of individuals, gone without a trace. Santa Blanca is definitely behind the disappearances, but no bodies have ever been found. Find out what happened to these people. Their families need a place to start looking. Then make sure this shit stops happening. Understood. That we can and will do. So apparently people have been disappearing in San Mateo province, and we're about to find out why. Let's start with this location. I'm sure to find some intel over there. Now since there's only five missions... Alright, good to go. Like I said, since there's only five missions, I'm gonna try to nail this province in one gameplay depending on how well I play it. I'll save the Rebel Ops and the new weapons and the accessories, everything else for later. Right now, we're just gonna focus on the big missions. Uh-oh. Oh, no, shut down! Ready? Yeah, Open no fire. need to go quiet on this one. Yeah, get rid of the suppressor, we don't need that. Let's go loud. Yeah! Bring it on, suckers! Fucking hell. Station for SB's communication network. I well, say we knock down that door and take out their control terminal. Well, we're here. Might as well just get inside. I wanted to save this for last, but screw it. There's 
staircase. Oh, there it is. Hey, where you going, punk? Get over here. Not bad for some fine shotgun work. <laughs> We're gonna do something, or are we just the taking it to the site? Let's down. go. The rebels might be able to come out in force. Well, at least we got one side mission done. Well, what's this? I guess we're gonna have to exit from the bottom. What the hell is that staircase I saw earlier? Oh, wait, here it is. Here's the exit. Alright. Let's go get that major intel and figure out what the hell's going on in San Mateo. Tango down. Clear. How are you guys holding up? Free a couple of rebels. Yeah, let's worry about that later. Got a reference here to a large cartel prison at a village called Rosario. They keep a lot of rebel sympathizers there. Even the sloppiest prisons keep records. Yeah. The warden's office might have intel on some of these people who disappeared. Let's check it out. But where's that Sam launcher? I got eyes in a weapons case. Oh, we got a weapons case over here, too. The drone is up. Is that an air defense system? I got eyes on a Jenny. There's the air defense. I called the rebels for some indirect fire. Okay, so... This must be Rosario Village. Santa Blanca has turned the entire village of Rosario into a prison camp, and the office of the camp warden is likely to contain records of prisoners who have been detained there. We have to enter the camp, reach the office, and search, search for the intel. Okay. Rosario Village has been turned into a cartel prison camp. Search the warden's office for intel on the prisoners who've been held there. It might give us a lead on the disappearances. Okay. There's a chopper in this area we can take. Oh, a long barrel for a sniper rifle. Interesting. That's a big one. Yep, I'm correct. It's a big one. But well, we're going to need it. Alright, so let's go to Rosario Village. Raid hey, the man, area. Try to take us off some sweet jumps, alright? Yeah, like I was saying, we're going to raid the area. We're going to go to the warden's office. We're going to get some info. On the missing people. We also need some intel on the people. I was going to say people. The person running the province. There I go. Scrambling my words again. <laughs> What's the play? Same as before. Get inside, find the warden's office, search for intel on the missing people. There have to be answers behind those walls. Let's move. Yeah, let's move and let's attack while we're at it. Blew his head off. <laughs> Fuck, sniper. Screw that sniper. I just blew him up.
Headshot. Right, let's get to that office. We free some rebels in the process. And a sniper. The sniper's got a zero. the rebels to recon there this you are. Like I said in one of my videos, I love blowing stuff up. be the warden's office. If there are any prisoner records, they'll be in there. We need to get inside and see what we can find. We got a PC over here. If there's a record of the prison's inmates, it's here. No time to be choosy. We'll download every document. This is the warden's office? It's download more like an started. apartment building. Stay alert, people. Huh. Download complete. Let's exfil and get the data to Bowman. Hopefully there's something here we can use. Well, all right. I guess I could look for a couple of skill points while I'm at it. Here, 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 here. Here. And here. Huh. Okay. Current location is there. Hey, what do you know? We could easily just go to this area where they have more info. We don't even need a chopper. Let's just take a truck. I like trucks. Hang on, I'll drive. Beep beep! I'm in. Let's roll. That's a fast looking pickup truck, huh? <laughs> Look what it says on the back. Zeus! <laughs> Any of you ever seen Disney's Hercules? <laughs> Gotta admit, best freaking Disney movie I've ever seen. Let's see what we got here. Oh, Sicario House. I asked the rebels to do a recon of the area. Ready? Fire, fire, fire. They're gonna make Roger back up. Take care of them. We're opening fire on these shitheads. We can also look at some weapons while we're at it. Now, hold on real quick. Let's see. What are the weapons we can find in San Mateo? Ooh. PSG? Ooh, that looks pretty cool. And the G28. Oh, now we're getting a little creative. As well as a Russian sniper scope, a folded buttstock for a rifle, a laser three dot like what you see in Predator. <laughs> okay, not bad. Yeah, we'll mostly look for the blue stuff while we're at it. 
other stuff we could worry about later, like after the gameplay. So I may not be able to record it. I just want to get the main stuff for you guys. Looks like the cartel's keeping high-value prisoners at a place called La Carcel del Pueblo. That's up in the hills. These prisoners are important enough. They might know something about the people who disappeared. That's facts. And look at that. The weapons case happens to be right there. So while we're clearing the area out, we can get to that weapon. But first, let's read the briefing. La Carcel de Pueblo is a prison high up in the mountains where high-ranking rebel prisoners are taken for interrogation. Free the rebel prisoners and find one that can provide info on the disappearances. The cartel keeps its high-value prisoners at a camp up in the mountains called La Carcel del Pueblo. Liberate the prisoners and find out what they know about the disappearances. I asked Pacatari to send some people. Yeah, we're gonna need a chopper for this one. There's no way I'm driving to another province. Screw that. I'd rather fly. I wanna fly like an eagle. You really only let me try. That's a good song. Space Jam rocks. <laughs> I love Space Jam. If you agree with me, comment in the comment section, please. And, oh, it looks like we got a supply drop over there. And you know what? We'll deal with that later. Damn. Look at this place. Well, let's drop in and say hello. We spotted one with some machine guns. Ready? I'm a fire. What's up? Oh, no. They had to bring Unidad in the area. I think they don't see us just yet. Fuck, sniper. Just a rough guess, but maybe we should clear the area out first. Before taking out the generator. Hold up. Right, we gotta love grenade launchers. Take a couple are minutes. This size operation. The jail cells unlock automatically when the power goes out. So we take out the Jenny. We gotta find it first. Come on. Well, I already know where it is. Yo, I got a weapons case here. Yeah, allow me to take this as a prize. Ah, I could use this. Nice shot. And what do you know? It's Chopper thundering incoming. and lightning outside. I love the sound of thunder. Thunder and the lightning. Lightning and the thunder. <laughs> I think I may have said that song wrong. Got another tango. Dad, who cares? Let's just uh, let's just continue. Deploying drone. Got it. Target. Move it. Let me find a good position. I got a target. Moving to a better position. Target acquired. Lost visual on the target. 
trouble. The generator. Jenny's down. Those cell doors must be unlocked. Let's talk to one of these prisoners. See what we can find out about the disappearances. Now, yeah, all rebels are freed. So let's talk to this guy. Hey, I need your help with something. We've been trying to figure out what happens to the people who disappear in San Mateo. What happens to them is El Pozolero. Stewmaker? But what does he do with the bodies? Where are they? He takes the corpses and stuffs them into oil drums, then covers them with lejia. What's the English? Lie. Caustic soda. Si. Sosa caustica. Within a few days, the bodies in the oil drums will. There are no bodies left to find. So now we've got a name, we need more info on El Pozolero. A way to go after him. He's the only one who can lead us to any of the remains. El Pozolero, huh? So that's the name of the guy running the province, but apparently we need more info on the guy. I got a target here with some machine guns. More info we need, more info we're gonna Ask get. Rebels to recon the area for us. I'm calling for indirect fire. All right, let's see if we could just get out of here and uh, gather some more intel. All right, there the are rebel a lot of prisoners. Lightning switches up here. The rebel Clear on this side. Free. I don't know if you heard me, but the rebel prisoners are free now, and they don't have to worry about nothing. Whoa, whoa. How close am I to a... Okay, no, I'm good. Oh, let's raid this area. Weapons free, weapons free. Weapons free. No hostiles. Ah, oh, shit, we've been spotted. Well, that was easy. Clear. Hold up, there's a weapons case here. And some supplies. We'll leave a marker so the rebels can pick up these supplies later. It's a good idea to let the rebels know you got something for them. According to this, a journalist named Lupe Vera has been investigating the disappearances in San Mateo. She's caused enough trouble that the cartel is going to make her disappear next. We've got her 20. Let's get to her before the Sicarios do. A journalist? Ooh, that don't sound good. A Bolivian journalist named Lupe Vera has been investigating the disappearances in San Mateo for several months. Track her down and find out what she knows. We've learned that a Bolivian journalist named Lupe Vera has been in San Mateo investigating the disappearances for the past several months. And we need to locate her and find out what she knows. Okay, so with her help, we may be able to track down El Pozolero and possibly capture the guy as well. Then we can learn about the disappearances of San Mateo province. Well, let's do it. Uh, should we fast travel to the... You know what? Yeah. Let's let's do that instead. This flying there it might take a couple of minutes, and I don't want the video to be too, too long. Okay, so... And we know El Pozolero is the guy running San Mateo. We know what he does to the bodies in these barrel drums. We know what he fills it with so that the bodies could just disintegrate. But 
in order to find out where this guy is, we need to know what uh, what Lupe Vera knows. First thing we need to do is save her from the cartel. And, well, just get some info from her. Hopefully she'll be able to help out, if we're lucky. Okay, okay. As soon as we get to where we need to get to, we'll kick the mission off. Oh, good. We got a chopper. Thank God. Even though it's like a couple of meters away. I got it. I'll fly. I prefer to fly. Gets the job done faster. Right. We're coming up on the journalist's last known location. Let's track her down and find out what she knows about the missing people. We gotta figure the cartels around, looking for her too. They are. And that's why we gotta get to her. Hola, camaradas. What do you want, gringo? We're looking for a journalist named Lupe Vera. So are we, but it's too late. The cartel has her. They've taken her back to their base. You planning a rescue? Yes, but it would be suicide. The outpost is heavily guarded and I don't have enough troops. You do now. We need to get the Vera. Whatever it takes. Then let's go. We haven't got much time. And then, hermanos. Alright. So the cartel captured her. Got a call to the rebels for some reinforcements. Well, we gotta take care of that outpost over there. I asked the rebels to do a recon of That's the area. That's a hostile presence. We got a Sicario. Tell me where. Sticking close to the sandbag emplacement. Maybe it's time we get their attention. Fire. Looks like they heard that explosion. Copy. Surprise, suckers. Shit, they spotted us. Grenade, move, move, move! Grenade, move! Opening fire. Uh oh. I hear mortars. I better find those and disable them. Hang on, Lupe. We'll save you. We just got to clear the area first. That'd be the smart thing to do. I put a call to the rebels for a diversion. There she is. You the journalist? Me llamo Lupe Vera, but I don't know if I'll stay with journalism after this shit. To whom do I owe my rescue? We're working with Pakatari. We need any info you got on the people who are disappearing. There is a rebel safe house near here. Everything I have on Los Desaparecidos is there. Then let's go get it. First things first. Let's get the skill point. And then we could take the vehicle here. No targets present. I'll drive. Huh, one of them is in the trunk. Smart. It's not just San Mateo, you know. People are being taken from all over Bolivia, not just by the cartel. Unidad is also involved. Some officers torture and murder innocents, and then send the evidence here to be destroyed. Santa Blanca kills people all the time and leaves the bodies behind. 
No one cares if a sicario from a rival cartel dies. They kill a policeman? That's just the war on drugs. But the cartel, every student, bus driver, laundry woman, anyone they think might be against them. That's not just the drug war. That's a story. Damn right it is. It has to be. If Bolivians knew a tenth of the murders that the cartel and Unidad have committed, there would be rioting in the streets. The rebels would have people flooding the ranks. Hell, the rest of the world might even care. The hideout is just ahead. Good. Show us that intel on the people disappearing in San Mateo. We need to put a stop to it. Come on, Lupe. Get inside. Oh, right. Talk to her. It's not hard to guess that Los Desaparecidos, the disappeared, have all been murdered. I've got notes on some truck the cartel uses to pick up the bodies. It's supposed to have a regular route like a fucking garbage service. That's it? What about its route, its schedule? Nothing specific. Oye, amigo, this was hard enough to get as it is. I just know that the truck's last stop is a place where the cartel gets rid of the bodies. It's worth, a, it's worth a look. What about my story? There are dozens of families, hundreds, who need answers to what happened to their loved ones. When we get answers, you'll be the one to spread the word. Adios. And gracias. I'm going to wait here for Pacatarica. You should find that truck. Nomad, I've gone through those files you snagged in Rosario. There's nothing on the missing people in there. Is there anything on El Pozolero? We've got a description of the truck that makes his regular deliveries, but nothing on the truck's route or its schedule. It's like this truck just roams the countryside, and anybody put in the back just vanishes. Well, it isn't supernatural. Here, the Rosario's files have info on the truck's route. I'm sending it to you now. Get your mitts on the driver and make him tell you his final destination. That's where all the remains will be. Got it. The death truck not far from here. According to our intel, there's a cartel death truck that collects corpses across San Mateo and delivers them to someone called El Pozolero. Intercept the truck and force the driver to give up El Pozolero's location. Intel gathering efforts have revealed the existence of a death truck that transports the corpses to El Pozolero. We need to intercept this truck and interrogate his driver for the location of El Pozolero's operation. As well as his real name. Another thing we need to know about is El Pozolero's real name. That way we can get a briefing from Bowman and, well, figure out what to do from there. There's the truck. Fucking in back full of goddamn bodies. Where you going, punk? Get down before they see you. Go, Perry, to the south of the end. You better be unarmed. You El Pozolero. For serious? <laughs> Fuck no, I'm not that Diablo. I, I just drive the truck, wait. Nada más. Tell me his name and where to find him. His name's Raul something. Raul Morillo. You sure you want me to tell you where he is? Motherfucker, tell me where El Pozolero is. I ran out of patience two days ago. All right, I'll tell you where he is. But you wish you'd never found out. Bowman's his nomad. The driver gave us El Pozolero's real name, Raul Murillo. He also gave up Pozolero's location. Outstanding. I'll run Murillo's name and send you whatever background I can find. This one's weird, Bowman. These cartel goons are staying away from El Pozolero like he's got the plague. That might be why there's such little chatter about him. Be careful. There's a lot of unknowns here. Just make sure he's alive. Otherwise, we'll never get confirmation on these missing people. Hmm. Interesting. Just got a file transfer from Bowman. Looks like she was able to dig up some background on El Pozolero. Better grab some popcorn, because this is going to be interesting. When I was a kid, we used to live over the train tracks. Every time a train went past, I would run into my mother's bed, and she'd assure me there was no such thing as monsters. Mm -hmm. She was such a liar. 
El Pozzolero, also known as the Stewmaker. Sometimes the cartel needs a dead body to completely disappear without a trace. Mm -hmm. In such cases, they ship the cadavers off to San Mateo. The first thing El Pozzolero does is place the bodies inside a barrel, which he fills with caustic soda, Ooh. sodium hydroxide, then covers the drums, stirring occasionally. After 24 hours, there's nothing left but a thick sludge, a stew. Ooh. He pours this into a pit. Any leftover teeth or bone fragments, he smashes into dust. Last year, more than 300 people disappeared in San Mateo. Their families have no idea if their loved ones are alive or dead. They can't have proper burials. They can't have closure. The only one who knows what truly happened to these people is El Pozzolero, the monster who melted them. Oh, he's a monster, all right. Doing that to a bunch of bodies. Man, I can't wait to find this guy and kick his ass. We've got a location on El Pozzolero. Go and get this bastard and bring him to me. He's got a lot to answer for. We now have a confirmation on the location of El Pozzolero. The man behind the gruesome disappearances of San Mateo. It is vital we extract El Pozzolero and learn the identities of his many victims. Yeah, that we will do. And his place isn't too far from here. I don't like this. We've got no idea what we're walking into. I'm getting my tension said there are a lot of variables in play. There aren't a lot of variables. We just don't know what they are, so we're taking everything into account. We need a covert way in. I want to see El Pozzolero before he sees us. Hmm. While we're at it, we're gonna try to get that weapons case. Screw going silent. Coming up on the cartel base now. Let's go find El Pozzolero. Fire! Did you guys smell that? Christ, fuck it. Death, man. Fucking death. If they didn't know something was up before, they sure as hell do now. Check it out. Weapons case. They know we're here. Ready? Open fire. Copy that. The real T's making a run for it. Opening fire. Put him in a body bag. I asked the rebels to re... I got eyes on El Pozzolero. Remember, we need him alive. Man of Sariba, let me see those... Hola, señores. You're taller than the usual delivery people. Hold on. your ass. Get out of here. Whoa! San Mateo Alpha is dead ahead. Just before reaching Media Luna. Staying overnight, I should probably have me also. Your bear, like a teddy bear. Oh, it's not what you think. I'm not overly afraid of the dark, but Pepito will think I'm cheating on him. Nidia Flores once gave me a jirafa azul, and Pepito said the nastiest things to him. I had to spank him. Pepito, that is, not the giraffe. What are you fucking for real? Something kept his mind from growing up the whole way. Do all Americans curse as much as you do? I'm supposed to wash away an American this week. 
but he hasn't arrived yet. Not that it would matter to me if he cares much or not. I just do my job. I don't judge other people. Wash away an American? You mean put this American in a barrel and cover him with lye? Claro que sí. Some of the other men with guns, they call me el pozolero, the stew maker. But I don't make stew. I don't even eat stew. You just dissolve bodies in barrels of lye. Great. I bury them too. Sometimes. Why are you looking at me like that? It's not like I kill these people. Pepito would never let me do that. Why wouldn't he? Because it's not part of my job, of course. Are you sure we can't go back for Pepito? I'm sure. Don't worry. We'll let him know there weren't any giraffes or any other animals. Wow. Seems like the guy's got the mind of a kid. Alright. Let's take him to Bowman and get him out of here. Inigo Morales, district court judge, disappeared on his way home from work. Octavio Rodriguez, student activist, kidnapped by a gang of armed men outside a local bar, never seen again. Mirabel Castro, school teacher, last seen at an Unidad checkpoint in Santa Cruz. I remember her. She had beautiful skin, like an angel. There's a thousand more like them in this stack, you son of a bitch, and that's just this year. Every one of them had a family. People out of their minds with grief because their loved ones are gone. But they were dead. What else could I do? Midas thinks he's got the mind of a child. Probably has no idea what you're talking about. Well, he better have a fucking photographic memory. I want the names of every single person you put in one of those drums. I don't care how long it takes. Do you understand me? Yes. Okay. Then you will take me back, verdad? I must get back to work. Sorry, buddy, but the only place you're going to is jail after this. Can't believe I got San Mateo in one shot. Talk about good luck. <laughs> wow. Okay, after this gameplay, I can focus on the other stuff. Couple of rebel ops, couple of supply drops, as long as they're not in undiscovered provinces to drop them off. Hopefully not, but hmm. if they are, I'll just leave them be until I complete those provinces first. Then I'll do those drops. But other than that, we got San Mateo completely taken care of, and now we're about to regroup with the others. I can handle stupid and I can handle grand. I sure don't like seeing them in one package. He's not exactly stupid. He's emotionally underdeveloped. He didn't learn the proper way to react to the dead. Like his brain, bro? He's disassociating. Exactly. I, for one, am not going to let my kids burn ants anymore. What does El Sueño have to say? El Mudo was going to try to kill me, just as I was going to kill him. Black is for vengeance. Mm -hmm. White is for safety. Gold is for success. Ahora, I ask you, how can any saint grant contradictory prayers from two different men? <laughs> it has been my experience that gods always side with the man who has the most money, the most men, and the most power. I had lost the one man I could always trust, mi hermano. How many men would be more loyal to him than to me? How much power would he take? Would that be enough for him to take me out? I would always have an advantage, though. I grew up with the man. I knew how his mind worked. I knew his next move before he did. I just had to be patient. Hmm. Well... We got that taken care of. Now the San Mateo is basically taken care of. We just have to go after this guy in Montiog Province, but I want to go after this guy in Media Luna next. Since there's only three missions, 
in that province. I can easily nail that in one shot. So, yeah. Okay, so since San Mateo was all set and done, all I gotta do now is find a couple of rebel ops, do a couple of supply raids, collect the rest of the accessories, collect the rest of the skill points, so on, so on, and so on, and finish everything from there. So this will be the end of this province, but the next gameplay I do, Media Luna is coming up next. And oh boy, take a look at the difficulty on this one. Five skulls? This one was only four. But this one's going to be even tougher because this whole entire province is all Unidad controlled. So you're going to see more Unidad forces than you will with Santa Blanca. And let me tell you, the action in this province is going to be freaking epic. So, yeah, that'll just about do it for San Mateo province, guys. So if you guys want to drop a couple of comments in the comments section below to give me your thoughts and opinions on the action in this province, go right ahead. You're more than welcome to do so. Also, if you want to drop some likes, you are more than welcome to do that as well. Just don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because that would mean so much to me if you guys would just offer me all kinds of support. And if you switch on the notifications, make sure it's on all. That way, when I upload any video from any game that I make to entertain you guys, you won't miss a thing. Just make sure that the notifications are on and it's on all so you don't miss nothing. All right? And that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you again for watching this video. I will see you in my next gameplay. And until then, this is Freddy C signing off. Yeah!